Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike of the Cookie and Cream Podcast. Just letting you know you can financially support the show via Patreon.com. That's Patreon.com slash Cookie and Cream Pod. You can support us for as little as $2 a month. That's right. That's it. It's just 2 bucks a month. And trust me, that goes way further than you can imagine. So we'd really appreciate your support if you enjoy what we do. We're doing two shows a week for everybody. We've got the Cookie and Cream Podcast, and we have Smooth Fire FM Presents the Love Lounge. We're having a lot of fun we got a lot of plans and your support would mean the world to us thank you very much enjoy the show check one two here we go here we go check it check 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 bro hmm bro yo we're face to face yeah that's right. We're in the same room. That's right. How long has it been? It's been a while. It's been three and a half months, and all the podcasts we've done in that mm-hmm. time. Yep. Completely remote. All remote. Yep. In fact, we it, the the Love Lounge, our our mm-hmm. side show. Yep. Is all created in lockdown. That's right. It None was... of that we've ever been in the same room for. No, that's a product of of the lockdown as well. So. So I guess it has its perks. I guess so. Except for thousands of people dying. But hey. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just we haven't dark. changed. Yeah, we haven't changed at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also back on YouTube. Hi. Mm. What's up? If you're watching, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah. If you're listening right now on the other platforms... Mm-hmm. And you want to watch, feel free to swap on over to YouTube. Go right ahead. We're here. Yeah. We're chilling. That's right. Ooh, what do we got in front of us? Oh, bro, that looks familiar. Ooh, it's the Biggie Juice by Feral Brewing. <laughs> oh, baby. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that, get that. Oh, a little bit of squirt. <laughs> Dude, cheers. It's so good cheers. to see you in person. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's good. Uh, big old sip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Folks, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to my garage, if you're watching. Mm-hmm. As you can see, uh, it's a garage. It's a garage. Yeah. We're in- I promised nothing more than that. No. No. <laughs> People should not be surprised when they see the garage. It's also storming outside. I don't know if uh, you folks are going to hear the thunder getting picked up on the mics. Maybe you will, but we've mm. got some shit ass weather coming in. That is for sure. It's coming down, bro. Yeah, I saw lightning before down. we came in here. Did you? Yep. And you didn't warn me. No, nah, I wanted you didn't to say see a what, word. I wanted to see what happened. You're just going to let me walk under my tin roof. You got that much grease in your hair right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It would just fly right off the bat. Look at the, I look like I look like Keanu Reeves in the Devil's Advocate. <laughs> you look like Pacino. Uh who else? What's the other? You just look like everyone from um The Sopranos. I look like everyone like every 90s action movie villain. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the drug dealer that like the cops are yeah. going after, and he, you know, he he walks out, and he's just like, oh, you know, you you fucking coppers, you just never learn. Mm. Yeah, but you know, we catch you every time. <laughs> and then they pull out the pocket cum. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they're always stressed. Oh yeah, they're always sweating. That's their that's their nervous tick. They just. And instead of like hair. stepping away to like have a cigarette, they step away. They take out like the switchblade comb, <gasps> just oh. <laughs> aggressively oh. coming. Oh. Like, These motherfuckers are gonna learn. My hair, on the other hand, looks like a like a pubic bush. <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> you see, when you decided, I'm not gonna tell Mike about the lightning. I had decided long ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell Wayne. About the scrotum bush growing on his scalp. Yeah, it looks great, bro. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really well kept. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, it's a nappy stage. So. 
I'm yeah, well aware thing, of it. Man. You know, when you when your hair starts growing back out from being short, it always has to go through like a really awkward stage. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where I'm at. Oh man. But anyway. Dude. What's happening? <sighs> Fucking yo, this Alec Baldwin shit. Yes. Bro. Bro. So like I said, I heard a little bit about it, but then you enlightened me even further. All right, so all the details are still coming out. Obviously, it's an investigation. And no, Alec Baldwin did not fucking shoot someone on purpose, so let's just get past that. Is it, are there people talking about that? Well, of course. I mean, like, it's just like, oh, did he, you know, was he was he angry at someone? He's mm. had anger problems. Did he, you know, it, it's it's dumb. Yeah. It's on set negligence yeah. to the utmost degree. That's bad. Dude. So according to like the affidavit that was filed, apparently the prop gun for, well, let me put this in context for those of you listening or watching right now. If you haven't heard this yet, mm. uh, the actor, Alec Baldwin, who I fucking love. Yeah. Uh, he was handed a prop gun on the set of a Western film they're doing called rust. They were doing a scene. He fired said gun and there was a live round in the gun. It's crazy, man. It killed the cinematographer. That's I'm, sad, I'm forgetting bro. her name. Forgive me. And it wounded, I believe, the I think the director. What? Yeah. So it didn't only kill someone; it also wounded another. All right. This Damn. was a real bullet that was fired. Like, so if it was a western, it would have been like a high caliber round then as well sure like you know one of them uh smith and wesson looking magnum yeah fuck man that would have had some giddy up and go behind it yeah fuck dude so this this all just happened in the last like 48 hours basically from from recording this podcast right now all right so apparently he was handed the gun by the assistant director who was told by the armorer, okay, mm-hmm. now I only know what an armorer is because uh, back in the day when we filmed Underbelly Blues, yep. we had to have a professional armorer. Yes, because you guys set. had guns. We had guns, yeah. and some of them were real. Ooh, shit, son. And what an armorer does for, for film sets is they're a trained professional with a lot of certifications. They're on the set to ensure that real guns. Yeah that are being used as prop guns mm-hmm. or, uh, you know, even if, it, or if they have to switch out a fake gun with a real gun for like a really close-up shot to make yeah, it authentic. To make it authentic yeah. Or, in some cases, surely, if they want to use a live round in mm-hmm. a gun, let's say uh, you, you're shooting a Western and you have a scene where your gunslinger character is doing target practice, yes. firing at uh, a tree or a bottle. Yep. Yep. Let's say you want to do an over-the-shoulder shot, mm-hmm. and it's one take where he fires the gun to, to hit a bottle. Yeah. Well, in that case, as long as all the requirements are met and mm-hmm. and, and all the safety precautions are met. Yeah. Okay, put a live That's round a, in that yeah. in that some bitch and let it fly. Let it fly. You know That's what right. I mean? Yeah. Well, again, I mean any time an actor is going to be given a gun I mean, on set and is going to be firing near anyone or at a camera for a shot, for yeah. an epic shot or whatever it is. Bro, how in the year 2021 a live round ends up in that gun? <clears throat> Couldn't tell you. I mean, this the, the 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 sheer fucking negligence. I mean, dude, when 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 we were doing our project, mm. that was a little shit ass B movie, oh, but, micro budget, but we still paid for that person yeah, to be there because it's it's 100 percent, and they 100%. were strict. Yeah, fuck yeah, they you were have like to be. no one. Mm. He, he was like <laughs> when we first met him, <laughs> bro. When we first met him, he came over to the to my buddy Phil, the director's apartment, yep. to have a meeting with us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yep. That's right. He has a bag with him oh, of shit. like the samples. It was like it was like we were doing an arms deal. <laughs> he like he like yeah. unzips this bag and he lays it out on the bed. Yeah. And we were just like, oh, we we're like, uh, are those real? And he goes, yeah, pretty fucking cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like it felt so oh. shady, but he was legit. Like he, yeah. he all the credentials. Nothing. There was no ammunition. Nothing was loaded. It was just yep, yep, yeah. prop weapons. Some yeah. real. Some not real. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. But I mean, he was on set. He was like, no one mm. touches one goddamn thing. Yeah. Until it's in my hands. Yeah. I have inspected it. I have looked in the chamber. I have given it a full, a a full they, look through. Yes. And then, me and. Only me. Yep. I will personally hand it to the actor yes. who was about to use it. No one else touched on it. this set. Mm-hmm. And 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 I'm not putting any. Y- same, yours or Baldwin's? We're on Baldwin's. Baldwin's. Now. Yeah. On this one, I mean, when I start hearing about oh, the gun was passed to someone and then passed off again. Mm-mm. To get put into Alec Baldwin's hands, no, bro. Already red no. flags. Like that's the. It, it's dude, already red flags. It comes back to the armorer, bro. It's their responsibility, dude. I think whoever the armorer is, I think they're fucked. They are definitely fucked. I think they're fucked. Their job is to ensure that type of shit does not happen ever. I don't ever. know why the armorer himself would not have fully checked it, and he and only he. Mm. Would hand that gun over. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I hey mean, man, dude. might have been got complacent. You know? Yeah, yeah. But then what's what's all the conspiracies gonna be? Right? Well, I know. That's you're gonna be fucking coming out of the woodworks, man. And it's stu- and, and dude, I can't imagine what Alec Baldwin feels like right now. I can't imagine he's gotta he's now he's gonna live he's, with that through no fault of his own. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck I love him. He seems like an asshole, though. Yeah. He seems like but he's just cocky. That's like half of my love. You know, have you seen him. Have you seen his uh, his little short ad on YouTube? He goes, yeah, sure. Skip past this ad like you skipped on buying Amazon stocks or whatever. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. And he's just like, yeah, fuck you, Alec. Like, <laughs> don't remind me. Do you know why I haven't seen it? You ready for this? What? Tell me. I have YouTube premium. Oh, Oh shit! White privilege. <laughs> what? Hate privilege. You goddamn what I do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see this YouTube app? No, nope. no, I didn't. No, <laughs> I haven't seen an ad in years. <laughs> yep, I pay yep. for that. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> keeps my hair looking nice and healthy. I don't have to stress about ads, <laughs> bro. <I laughs> Meanwhile, pick- <laughs> premium. Free. <laughs> uh, I wonder if, because I, I can't. I, it's not like we have a monitor, but like yeah. I wonder if when I look directly at this camera light, mm-hmm. if my gelled back, shiny ventriloquist doll hair, it's shining. Is I'll it tell reflecting? you right now. You could be. You mentioned Keanu Reeves. You could be the Keanu Reeves resurrected. You could be. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Maybe I could be a stand-in. Possibly. He's a badass with like a gun. He, he's legit. He's legit, bro. I've so, seen him on the gun range, man. In those videos. Oh man, he, he ain't be fucking ro- around. He'd be rolling around and everything. Just ding, 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 ding. You hear that shit? And he's so quick. Like he's an awkward. He's an awkward walker and runner. Like you know, he's he's kind of bow legged, and he kind of <laughs> right, he's like yeah. really stiff when he does it on the range. <laughs> But I wouldn't fuck with him, bro. He's like, no. Nah, you break. I'm telling you right now. You break into Keanu Reeves' house. You oh, are breaking yes. into John Wick. It's John house. Wick. Yep. Get John Don't Wick. Don't fuck four with this man's dog. Uh uh-uh. uh. No sir. Or his rabbit that he's got to follow. Cause hey man, either way you're fucked. She was the only thing left <laughs> of her. The only Bye. memory I had left. <laughs> you took. Her for me? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm back. <laughs> that John Wick series is so fucking baller. The thing is, they keep it's the same thing, but it's a it's a hit. It's hit after hit after hit. Well, the beauty of it is, if you watch the whole series, it's like one continuous like three to four night. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Where's like, he getting all his blood 
from? <laughs> Come on, man. The amount of times I mean, he's been bleeding. He ain't been he ain't had a transfusion once. He has lost a lot of blood. Where is he getting topped up? And not only did did he is he losing a lot of blood, he's losing a lot of blood in the rain. So <laughs> the shit ain't yeah. even clotting. No. No. You know what I mean? All his wounds are just like all the water's just like wetting all his wounds. Yeah. Do not, throughout the whole fucking film. And he's he's at the bar drinking whiskey. He's thinning his blood right out. You know why? Why? Because he's John Wick. That's yeah. Why. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Welcome to the Continental. Just figured I'd sit here at the bar at the Continental and just just reminisce. This is this is neutral ground. Yeah, it's neutral. This neutral. is this is the truce area. I um wanted to see like the Asian the Asian dude from three or four. Oh, Parabellum. The the bald headed dude. Yeah, yeah. He was like a fanboy of John Wick. Like I yeah. wanted to see them like team up. That'd be great. That would have been fucking dope. But John Wick had to kill him with his belt or however he killed him. You know, it was or, a bit yeah. Disappointing. Or, I remember when he, when he killed that one dude with the, the fucking book. Oh, in the yeah, in the library. Oh, just fuck. just shoved the book like in his mouth <laughs> yeah. and elbowed the elbowed book. Elbowed the book, and then he, he <laughs> fucked him up. Bro. Jesus, good thing it was a hardback. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, bro. He fu- but the the one thing. The one criticism I have that I did not like about uh, John Wick, but you know I know why they did it. What the one scene where he's running away from from the Asian um, assassins and he goes up into the museum and there's all these guns and he has like right. one round and he like retrofits three or four different guns together to fit the round just to kill one dude. I'm like, bro, you could have you know picked up like. A whole bunch of knives in that time, you yeah, know. It's like, bro, that, that just, took a while. Yeah, it, I mean, like it was cool and everything, but who can be fucked? Who thinks like that? John Wick does. John Wick apparently, and Mike Seamus Reed, because your hair's the same. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me want to watch The Devil's Advocate again. You should. That's such a good movie. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I've seen it. I win. It's what I do. I win. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore I'll tell you that That's I wonder I wonder if uh, Mr. Baldwin Is going to continue acting after this Man Like how could you Like would you Could you Should you I mean <sighs> What would That's you do That's rough dude What would you do I'd step away for a while and, and here's what I would do If it was me I'd be like Alright uh, first of all, uh, I feel terrible. Yeah. So I'm going to stay home for a bit. Yeah. Y'all, you need to fully investigate this, figure out what happened. You let me know. You come over, interview me like the police. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like talk to me. I'll answer any questions I got. Other than that, mm. all I can do is sit here and, and shake my head in disbelief. Do they have CCTV on the lots? Like, well, this was, uh, I assume this may have been outdoor so it was like it was on on location i would say so i mean it's a western so yeah. i mean obviously they have western sets mm. but like i imagine this was probably out in the middle of somewhere yep uh especially if i mean fuck i i'm still trying to figure out why a live round was even put so i i was an armorer for a thing. short time in the military. Like, I worked in the armory for a short time. And, yeah. dude, we we did not, you know, we, we we took it serious, man. We did not take any shit, you know. If people weren't putting putting their weapon um, away properly, you know, clearing it properly, we'd be like, nah, son. Like, you know, stepping over the red lines and that. Like, nah, son. Like, that's when shit goes wrong. And, and that's why those, you know, certain measures are put in place. So, oh, for sure, shit dude. like that doesn't happen. But like, the strictest of discipline. Yeah, has to be. Um, but you know who is stepping away from acting for a little bit? I heard. Who? Ryan Reynolds. Is he? Yeah. 
Tell you what, you talk about going out on top for the moment at least. Those Deadpool movies. Yeah, but then he did New Guy. I haven't seen it. Have you? Yeah. Seen oh, it, seen it twice because I got kids. You um, weren't a fan. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I. I mean, nah. You weren't into it. Not a cup of nah. tea. Nah. Like he's funny, and they they got like funny one liners in that. But I'm just like, it's like one of those movies. It's just like a throwaway movie. Mm. You just put it on when there's you can't decide what else to watch or there's nothing else on or you just you're putting the TV on so you can do something on your phone or whatever. Oh, you know. okay. I'm not knocking Ron Reynolds. I'm just saying, you know, it I, it wasn't my. It was all right. It's like a four and a half, maybe, if that. So. Fair enough. But don't let me ruin it for you. No, I'll still you, watch it. <laughs> you know me. Right I don't really. Yeah. Li- I don't listen to. I listen to friends. Like like I I, t- I take your 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 word for it. Yeah. I never listen was, to critics. It was just like a meh, whatever. Fuck those Deadpool movies are so good. Are they doing another one? I hope so. I'll watch Deadpool, uh, movie after movie yeah. until. Until I'm, you know, blue in the face. Until they've kicked that dead horse. Yeah. Yeah. More than the walking dead kicked the dead zombie horses. Oh. Because <laughs> that show got it? old. What was the one that had uh, the zombie tiger in it with Dave Batista recently? Oh. The, the casino one? Yeah. Army of the Dead. Ar- yeah. That was cool. Apparently, Zack Snyder's doing another one. Yeah. Oh, you hear that? Oh, did you hear that? Bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Army of the Dead was awesome. My wife and I enjoyed cool. the hell out of that. It was different. So different. And like, funny as shit, too. Zombie zombie baby? Hell yeah. Zombie baby. Blue zombie baby? Zombie tribe? Zombie zombie leadership? Dude, hell yeah. Hmm. I was all, See, if you're going to do zombie stuff, right? At this point, you have got to find an original angle yeah otherwise it's i mean look i'll i'll watch a zombie flick regardless if it's mm-hmm. done well mm-hmm. one of the best zombie flicks to come out in the last fucking 20 years is this uh south korean flick called train to busan do you watch that one nope bro 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 see that's the reason i don't watch zombie flicks because it's all the same shit train to busan will impress you okay south korean flick all all these people are trapped on this like high speed train mm-hmm. when um this you know this outbreak had started yeah and it you know through whatever events it mm-hmm. gets onto the train and bro it's it's unreal and they ha- and there's like scenes where like they have to get try and get off of the train get mm-hmm. through another station yep while dodging, you know, all the shit that's going on, get onto another train to try and, because they're, like, with a conductor, like, trying to, like, get onto the train to hightail it the fuck out of there to get somewhere else. Is it, like, post-apocalyptic already? No. See, this is the thing. The, mm. the movie, that movie starts with just a father and daughter just, like, on the way to somewhere in their car. Actually, yeah. they're, well, they're going to the train station. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And they're kind of noticing like a little bit of weirdness going on, maybe hearing weird things on mm-hmm. the radio, seeing yep. helicopters. Right. Like like the shit has like just started. Just started, okay. I got you. It's so dude, it's so good. Train to Busan, everyone, if you haven't seen it on Netflix. All right. Well, the last Korean flick I watched let me down. I think Squid Games let me down. Well, that's a series. It's a it's a you know, but it's still Korean. It is. <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea, that's for sure. No, I enjoyed it. Was, it. I it thought was, it could have ended be- better. I won't spoil just it. Just super anyone, slow, but. man. Some of some of it was, yeah. I'll be honest. Oh. Some of it was a little. Plus, you got to read the subtitles. Did you put on English it, dub? J- just admit it. That's what really bothers you. It it fucked me up because <laughs> I'm dyslexic <laughs> and I read like this. <laughs> I'm not reading English. I'm reading like that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, folks, this storm is really coming down. It's coming now. down. Yeah. We've got some good lightning, some good thunder. Yeah. Some good rain. Grease. Oh, yeah. Meat lightning. <laughs> <laughs>
a grease of lightning. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So. What's up? I mean, we're pretty excited because uh, we just came from a particular meeting, didn't we? We did. Without uh, getting into too much detail, folks, because on yep. the last episode, we let you in on... Uh, on some plans we have for Little thing, thing happening early 2022 January. Little thing. Little thing. We are gonna run a absolutely sick stand up show. Yeah, right here in the Illawarra, the place we represent. That's right. And two double up, You seen that bitch? <laughs> what? Two double up, Yeah, You seen this bitch? <laughs> what are you talking? No. Two double up, Yeah. You haven't seen? I'll show you. This bitch. <laughs> sorry, man. You just said because you said rep, representing. Oh, play it. She's we'll on. Play, we'll play it up on the screen on YouTube. She's on um, TikTok, right? She's just this dumb, this dumb teenager, or maybe she's in her early twenties or something. I don't even know her fucking name, but she represents two double up, brother. Thanks, down, brother. <laughs> just like. <laughs> when parenting goes wrong, I can't find it right now. But um, yeah, she's horrible. She's she's just ugh. Is she like the chick who? Uh, you remember the the chick who went on Doctor Phil years ago? The Cash Me Outside she, chick. She's uh, more bogan, I think. More yes. than that one. Yes, boy, at least the, the Meet Me Outside chick could rap. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. Not well. Uh, um, but yeah, it's just uh, these dumb white girls mm-mm-mm. with no good home training, bro. Like, where are the parents? Honestly, like, you know, you and I both have daughters. If I seen my daughter acting like that, she would go missing. Oh, bro. No harm would come to started. her. She would just be off you, the you radar. You wouldn't see her anymore. Yep, that's right. Off the radar. She's healthy and all that. Cabin in the woods. But um, <laughs> cut off. But anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt our <laughs> no, announcement. It just reminded just me chilling, instantly. Bro. And I hate that it did as well. <laughs> Catch me outside. Catch me outside. How about that? Uh, How about the- that, bitch? Meet me outside then. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat your ass. The confusion on <laughs> Dr. Phil's face. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. What, what, what did she say? No, I'm sorry. What? what? Ca- ca- catch me, catch Out. me outside. Uh, and then the, mo- the mother's translating. Um, it means she wants to fight you, but like yeah. outside, outside, outdoors. What difference does it make? I'll beat your ass right here. <laughs> you don't have to go outside. You know, Idiot. in in a in a just world. Mm-hmm. I mean, a truly just world. Yeah, in a mature country in a mature country yep when a guest like her shows yeah. up okay and threatens the audience mm-hmm. with catch me outside like like step outside with me yeah and threatens <clears throat> dr phil step outside with me i'll show you some some fisticuffs yeah in a in a just world yes in a mature country i'm pretty sure that everyone mm-hmm. would be in total agreement that at that very point, yep, the host of the show, Mr. Dr. Phil himself, uh-huh. should have punched her directly in the jaw yeah, and dropped her right off of that high top chair yes. she was in and then stood over her and just said some gangster shit like, I don't need to catch you outside. I caught you right here. <laughs> I caught you with this left hook. <laughs> You, you How know, about that? <laughs> you, you talk a big game, but I'm the one who's got the big game. Yeah. You see the difference here, sweetheart? I fought off Oprah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You were not. <laughs> Oprah and I used to Ooh, spar in her basement. Spar. That bitch got hands. <laughs> She'd be ducking and weaving. <laughs> weaving. Ducking, ducking and weaving, too. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, like. And this is not so, this is not me at all condoning any sort of violence against no that, women. No, of course not. 
But when I'm I'm saying for anybody, if he was a dude, for anybody, exactly. Yeah. yeah. At that point, at that point, when someone's gonna act like that, yeah. Because here's the problem. You know why they act like that? Because they get away with it. They get away with it, and no one's ever confronted them. That's right. And and put them in their place so they yeah. continue to be a fucking asshole. That's correct. Happens too often, man. I acted like an asshole once in middle school. <laughs> yep. What happened? I acted like a huge piece of shit. Okay. I thought, only because I probably I had seen someone else do it, or maybe right. in a movie or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I thought during uh, gym class. Yep. I thought, ah, this uh, there's this Indian kid mm. um, named Rennie. I thought one day I can push Rennie mm-hmm. on the. I think we we're on the soccer field. Right. I was like, for, I, I don't know why. I was like, I'm just gonna push Rennie. It's just, mm-hmm. just like for some reason. I I just I don't know. I'm gonna be an asshole. Okay. I don't like him. Okay. Rennie annoys me. Yep. So I went over. I ki- he was he was uh like dribbling a soccer ball right yep. like in this like between these cones. I kicked the soccer ball away from him. So already, I'm a piece of shit. Yep. And he he's he's like, what? He's like, what the heck? What are you doing? And, dude, I just, I don't know why. Did you just push him? I, I just shoved him. Damn. I shoved this poor kid. I don't know why. Were you jealous of his ball skills? Like, what's... Probably. I was probably jealous of... of the fact that he seemed happy and I wasn't. Aww. Let's get real. Let's get real. <laughs> On today's episode of Let's Get Real. <laughs> I was probably, because like my parents were divorced when I was five. Mm-hmm. I had carried all of that with oh, me forever. Okay. Could have been. So I was pro- I, I must have been 10 or 11. Yep. And I was an angry child. Yep. At the time... I couldn't stand living with my mom. Every morning before I went to the bus stop, we like fought. Oh, not not really? physically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. Hey, mom, catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> catch me outside. Catch me outside. Like, but we would argue and I wouldn't <laughs> listen. And, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, like any bully, I'm taking personal issues out on someone else. I'm acting yes. out, right? Yeah, yeah. Now this only happened once. See, ever since this, I've never been a bully. I hate bullies. Yeah. Because Rennie, <clears throat> even though he was smaller than me, mm-hmm. uh, easy prey, bro. Rennie ain't taking. He's just not taking shit from anybody. Okay. Now no one Respect. knew this at the time. Yep. No one, no one would have expected little Rennie. Yeah. To uh, stand his ground ever. I'm surprised uh-huh. no other like bully had ever tried, right? Up till that point, or maybe maybe someone did. I just didn't know it. Okay, so I shove him, and he falls like on his ass. Okay, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have to imagine this tiny, ten-year-old Indian kid mm-hmm. with like at the time, you know, because when when you when you wear glasses now. Mm-hmm. Glasses now, it's all custom lenses, and like no one's really wearing Coke bottle glasses. You know what I'm saying? No, like, you know those bulletproof lenses they, and shit. They call them uh, BCGs in the in the uh, military, birth oh. control glasses, because ain't nobody trying to fuck with you. <laughs> That's fucking great. BCGs, bro. BCGs. BCGs. All right. So he had some BCGs on. Not just any BCGs. <laughs> I Alec Baldwin could have shot at these BCGs oh. already. Oh. And uh, too soon? No, no. I'm just, <laughs> it, it, I'm just your hype man. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a bad oh. Just, oh, it's a joke, folks. Relax. <clears throat> um, so he, he, all right. So Rennie gets up. Mm-hmm. You have to imagine this little tiny ten year old Indian kid. These super thick glasses that like magnify his eyeballs. Jesus, I mean, just man. total like just, dork, dork just shit. Looking goofy as fuck. Oh. Like beyond Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. Okay. I would have like, pushed his like, ass like too. Like this kid would have been Napoleon Dynamite's pen pal in India. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing me to this country. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you ever come to America, 
I'll show you some really sick ninja skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Maybe you and I can go out to the woods and I think we'll just go hunt for wolverines. <laughs> I would like that very much. <laughs> Dude. All right, look, I, I got to hang up the phone now. God! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, you guys can finish the rest on your own. Um, so, so, yeah, Rennie he fell gets on his up, ass. He stands up. Yep. He looks at me. Mm-hmm. He says, he says, what the hell's your problem? Ooh, straight away. Now, and this wasn't, bro, this wasn't like an emotional, like, what the hell's your problem, man? No. <laughs> this little kid got up and went, what the hell's your problem? Ooh. Like gangster shit. That is gangster, like, bro. Like, what's up? Yep. Yep. And I didn't really have anything to say. Yeah, of course not. I just, you know, an idiot. Yeah. You know, just, just, whatever, Rennie. Fuck you, Rennie. Yeah. Hate you. You're stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You're stupid, and you're a, you're a, you're a, you know, four-eyed, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, pr- I probably, even at the time, I had no idea what I was saying. I probably even said some shit like, you know... You know, fuck you, fuck India. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, easy stuff. Easy, e- easy like low hanging fruit. fruit. Yeah, as a ten year old, just yeah. trying to rile someone up. Yeah, was anyone else around? Like, were you trying? There to were kids running anyone? around and stuff. Uh. bro, okay. he took two steps toward me. Oh fuck! I mean, again, I didn't think he'd do anything. Yep. And this is what he says. He goes, "What did you say?" About India? I said, they're, I said, I said, Rennie, fuck India. They're proud people. Bro. Did he you hit reference me Bollywood? S- <laughs> <laughs> that is a classic. <laughs> Just break into song and dance. <laughs> Bro, he fucking hit me. In the face? Oh, he right hooked me. Oh. He swung. And, and, this, and again, because I'm a child yep. with like, I, I, you just don't really see things coming. Yes. Bro, I'm not even kidding. He wound his... It was telegraphed. <laughs> he wound his fist back. Like, anyone would have seen this coming. I just stood there. Just like extra... Like a, a mouth-breathing... <laughs> fu- I'm just like, yeah, whatever, ready, fucking dummy. So, it was super exaggerated in true Bollywood style? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, there you go. Like, like the fist... Yep, it reels back. The screen's flashing. Yeah. And bro, he not only swung his fist forward, yeah. he jumped in the air. <laughs> he, he, he Superman punched he you. He Superman punched me, dude, on the left side of my face. Just boom. I wonder and, <laughs> what he's up to now, man. Oh, that's a great question. I don't know. So did did you fall? Yep. D- fuck. Yep. I I uh I blacked out. I oh blacked God, out. Oh, dude. So so again, it's telegraphed. Imagine slow motion. Fist rears back. It comes flying forward. His feet leave the ground. Remember the movie The Sandlot? Yes. Remember remember Smalls? Yes, I remember Smalls. <laughs> Little imagine, imagine little Indian smalls. Oh wow! Just, just right hooks and leaves his body because of the inertia. I can just hear leaves like the, the ground. The <laughs> and just bro, knock you out. I mean, you, everybody on the soccer field would have heard that the, the, yeah. the clap, damn, of flesh. Just boom! I bet his I parents told out. him to do that. They're like, good on him. Look, you're not from here. You're small, and you're blind. Like you, they, <laughs> said, like anyone starts some shit with you, just you know, just hit him, and he did. And Bro. good on the parents. Good on and the parents. Good on that's him. right. Yep. There you go. Tell you what, that's what every bully needs. I they never, do. never, ever, from the moment I woke up. Yep. I woke up in the grass. Mm-hmm. Staring up at the clouds. Dude. Guess who was standing over me? Just like I wish Dr. Phil would be standing over the cash me outside chick. (laughs) It was fucking ready, dude. Yeah? Looking deep into my soul. Fuck. Did he say anything? 
No. He didn't and have to. And that's why it was gangster yeah, as fuck. He didn't have to. He didn't say a, <laughs> not one peep. He stood over me and he had his arms crossed. Oh. And didn't say a word. And you were about 10 or 11 and you still remember that shit to this day. Never, I'll, I'll never forget that. Mm. And, the, and here's the thing. Here's, he went extra gangster. Oh, damn. Extra. He was a boss. I start to get up. Uh huh. Oh shit! I start to get up. Yep. He puts his left foot on my shoulder. Oh my god! And and not hard. He gently, he gently moved me back down and put me on my back again. Yep. And that's and then he says something. He's okay. like, "Are you ever going to do that again?" Damn. He's dead. This is a 10-year-old. He's been watching Bollywood. Absolutely. He's, dude. Bro, he was and back playing. in our day when we were 10, 11, what were oh. we watching? We've talked about this before. We what kind of movies we watching, Martial bro? arts movies. Martial motherfucking arts That's right. movies. Three ninjas, nigga. <laughs> Little Tum Tum. Rocky. <laughs> Shit like that. So, yeah, he would have been watching that Bollywood Shit. Ste- you know that Steven Seagal goofy Steven ass running Seagal. down an alley shit. But when, but hey, when when Seagal in the in the nineties, yeah. early nineties was getting in a fight, woo! just yeah, watch out, you baby. You didn't want any of that. You didn't want it. Jean Claude Van Damme, Lionheart, oh, D- <laughs> or or him dancing in in fucking kickboxer. Where was he? It was kickboxer. God, he was so uncoordinated in the spandex. Yeah. What Blood the fuck? Sport. The director was like, "Yeah, cut. We got it." No, you didn't. <laughs> you did not. You get didn't. It. <laughs> you you got something. You got something. <laughs> but what you got was horrible. Like, like, all right, it's getting hot. Mosquitoes are coming out. We got it. Cut. Let's go. Um, but back to our our announcement that uh, oh I right, let's wrap this. On. Let's wrap this back around. Let's wrap it around, brother. Yeah, so we uh, we just came from a meeting we did. with a venue. Yes. And an event organizer. It mm-hmm. went very well. It did. So uh, we'll communicate through email. Mm-hmm. They'll get back to us next week. Yeah. Basically, folks, what we're negotiating mm-hmm. is exactly how the... And Wayne and I have talked about this. The business end of comedy, mm. no one likes... No one likes it. I mean, except for like a comedy. Club I mean, audience, fuck, but... even the comedy side of it, people don't like anymore. Yeah, that's it's getting weird. Yeah, out it's there. getting fucking. Oh. It's getting weird. Who 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 protests over jokes? I have no idea. I have. It's no, a little weird. It's the psychos. Um, just saying. You know, it's funny. What's up? Yeah, well, a lot of it's funny. All of it is very but hilarious. <laughs> one thing that stood out to me. Yeah. About. This backlash that Chappelle's latest special is getting. I'm gonna have another Biggie Juice, Please. bro. Are you good? Yeah, shit. Pull both of them out. Hell yeah. Baby, <laughs> baby, baby, baby. So yeah, you you tell what you've seen, and then I'll tell you what I've seen, and then we might wrap back around. To our so I uh, I have really not commented on this at all in I, online. I've not seen anything I, I, from you. No, I just, I actually, so I had a conversation with my wife yeah. recently. And she was like, look, your opinions and all of that, obviously, you know, she gets it. She's like, obviously, you're free to say whatever you want, and I yeah. support you. Yeah. And she's like, sometimes some of the opinions you have online, they're fine. I'm not, she's like, I'm not saying I disagree. Mm-hmm. With a lot of them, yep. But when it goes on, like you know, your personal Facebook and stuff, it's like, yeah, it's like, look, it's fine. Again, freedom of speech. She, you know, I'm, she's all about it. God damn, I'm popular. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she's like, you know, at the same time, though, you know, like my in laws might see stuff and like, and she's yeah. like, look, can we? Yeah. She's like, keep every. Why don't you keep everything to like your podcast? Where it's just free rain conversation. Oh sh- well, then here we go. And I was like, I mean, that's <laughs> fine, you know. Oh, I'll, I'll, I, so I told her, I told my wife, I said, all right, look on social media, because actually she's right. I, I don't even see the point of a lot mm. of what I post on there, even though 
I'll say things online that I do believe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm a very uh, libertarian kind of guy. I'm a yeah. live, let live sort of person, but I'll call out bullshit and psycho shit when I see it. Oh, but they don't like that. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like no. that. No. Oh, my God. Does, does he have an opinion that I don't have? Wait, <sighs> Banish him. Banish him. That's what's happening. So, here, dude, here's some funny ass shit that I saw. What? So, one of the arguments that uh, the leftists i'm just gonna call them the leftists okay all right and that's an umbrella term and many many types of um wacky people fall mm-hmm. under this term yeah so one of the arguments you hear is uh and, and i read that i do i even re- read this in you know vanity fair and shit like all the all these <laughs> oh, fucking idiots, everyone's all these on. fucking idiots yeah they go you know isn't it possible that what David Chappelle is saying can incite violence against the trans community. No. Uh, first of all, no. It's no. a comedy special. It's mm-hmm. jokes. Yep. Uh, second of all, if your argument, if, if 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 there's an argument that what Dave Chappelle said in his latest special can somehow incite violence, yeah. Right. So if your argument is. And I'm not saying that there that violence has not taken place in the trans community. Of course it has. It's yeah, taken place in every community. Yes. It's taken place in every uh, every if you want to call them marginalized groups or minorities or or whatever the fuck. Everywhere. Including the whites. Yep. Everybody experiences violence. That's right. Okay? Violence sucks. It happens. Mm-hmm. But if your argument is that his comedy special can incite violence, well, that's interesting because you know what I saw? Hmm. I saw quite a few pieces of video footage Mm -hmm. at the uh, Netflix headquarters protest and picketing rally where a gentleman. I think I saw the same one. A guy who attended was holding up a opposition sign. Okay. all the sign said was... Mm -hmm. Dave Chappelle's funny. Yes. Same and thing guess I saw. what? Yeah. Physically attacked. Yes, they did. For the sign. They did. They did. So don't give me this insight violence mm. fucking horse shit anymore. That's right. When Everyone. I watch when I watch two dozen people surround a person that is peacefully, keyword, yep. peacefully attending a rally with a different opinion yep. and you physically attack him, yes. take his sign, rip it up, throw it to the ground, no. stomp on it, scream in his face, they, shove him. They, they, so it was, it was a stick. To quote Chappelle, do you mean one they or many they's? Many, <laughs> many they's, many themsers. <laughs> It was a bunch of I's, O's, and it was a bunch of vowels. It was a bunch of IOUs. IOUs, right. It was a bunch of themers, but yeah. So they took the sign off of him. They stomped it out, and uh, it became sharp on the end. So then they were like, "He has a weapon. He has a oh, weapon." I did. Yeah, yeah. I saw something like, Put down circulate. your weapon. Like, get the fuck out of here. Are you kidding me Bro, with that shit? It's so deranged. Oh, now let me make this clear. Yeah, and and. I won't even go too deep into this. We could talk oh. for hours on this, man. Oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> okay. First of all, any community, anyone, any human being, anybody I come into contact with, I'm going to be real fucking nice to you. I, You know me. Yeah. For anyone who knows me, anyone listening to this, anyone watching this, you know I'm fucking nice. You know when we hang out, I'm fucking nice. Mm-hmm. I have, I, except for Rennie when I was 10 years old. Yep. But thank God for Rennie. That's right. Th- thank you, little 10-year-old Rennie, mm-hmm. for showing me the way. Mm-hmm. Never, ever since then have I ever started shit with people. Good. Never started a physical confer- uh, confrontation. Boy, why was that word so hard to get out? Probably because of the biggie juice. Biggie juice, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm not a bully. I don't start shit with people. I don't start fights. I tell jokes. Mm-hmm. Very different. That's right. All right. Now, what's happening today is people are conflating violence, shit starting, bullying with jokes. 
This a uh, this is a major problem. It is huge this is, problem, folks. This is a gigantic problem. Now, here's where I stand on this. Mm-hmm. I was asked the other day by somebody. Yep. Privately, they said, "Listen, I've been hearing some chatter, and there's opinions out there that say things like the trans community." is stomping all over the LGBTQ movement, is ha, is infiltrating it and ruining it and, and acting like a bunch of fucking assholes. Oh, so giving it a bad rep. Giving it a real bad name. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's where I stand, and, and I don't even have to ever talk about this ever again. Mm-hmm. I disagree with that, and here's why. The trans community... Mm-hmm. Is is very real. I'm talking about I'm talking about real trans people with real struggles. I'm talking about lifelong mm-hmm. struggling human beings who have f- for for many many years since they were young have been unsure or uh, look. I'll use the word confused even though you're not supposed to. I'll still use it in the context okay, of, yeah. of this. Yeah. Because they are confused, though. I mean, that's... Well, well surely that's that? how it starts. Does Shouldn't it start that way? Shouldn't it start with maybe mm-hmm. some uncertainty? Of course. I mean, it's not... I'm not even trying to sound like a fucking asshole. No. So, that community... Look, there are there is a community out there that is absolutely genuine. Yeah. Very legit. Yeah. They do struggle. They're trying to find their way. Yeah. I respect the fuck out of it. I will always respect you. Even... Look... I may not agree with every pronoun, but uh-huh. if you're my friend, and I have trans friends, if yeah. you're my friend, and you really want me to refer to you as like, <sighs> Zer or something, <laughs> I will, Zer. look, I like you, you're cool, I'll go out of my way, I'll try, I'll try, mm. all right? Now, I'm not saying I ain't going to fuck it up all the time, because yeah, I will, because yeah, you know. I'm going to say she or he or or because maybe I used to know you as Dylan. I might sli- I might I might slip a dead name in there. Dead Can't name. Can't do in. that though. And, and but but because they're my friend, they're cool. Like they know they know, they know I don't mean it. But look, the legitimate movement, the LGBTQI and I think there might be an, an A now. There's an F or something. Whatever. For freaky. It's fine. I think or <laughs> I've got that one, the F. <clears throat> Look, there's a legit community, a legit movement. I support it. And live how you want to live. We'll live how we want to live. That's right. Hey, God as long as we're not hurting each other. No. Joke, but but folks, jokes are jokes. I, I will die gonna, on that hill. I yeah, will I'm die. I'm going to say my shit. Yeah. I will die on the hill yeah. of jokes are jokes. You need to back the fuck off of comedy. That's right. Back the fuck off. Because like he said at the end of it, stop. Um, stepping on us for doing what we do. It, it is. It's a two way street. Dave Chappelle defended every single comic, you know, professional, amateur, rookie. He just said, yeah. "Stop, stop shitting on my people." So, so stop shitting on us, man. Fuck. So it is a two way street. Comedy's <laughs> comedy. I'll die on that hill. I will protect. Any dude, bro. Anyone who's seen us do stand up, anyone who's who listens and watches this podcast, yeah. you know Wayne and I will die on the comedy hill proudly. Yeah, with fucking glee. Yeah, we will protect comedy with our life. Yeah, because it's comedy. It's separate from everything you know. Yeah, comedy is separate from every conversation. Yep, the world needs comedy. Absolutely. Now, the initial question was. Mm-hmm. Do I believe that the trans community ha- is ruining the whole movement? No. Let me tell you who's ruining the movement. Who's that? The woke cult. Oh. Okay? The, the wokists are ruining that movement. The LGBTQIA, probably a couple others. K, I think it is. Kinky. They are ruining Mm-hmm. A legitimate movement. I mean, yeah. I mean, real people with real struggles. Yeah. <clears throat> now, he, let me clarify. The trans community, to certain people, might seem like mm-hmm. they have sort of Trojan horsed their way into the LGBT. Yeah. Right. 
and yeah. and are ruining it and are poisoning it. That is not the case, in my opinion. In my opinion, the woke cult, mm-hmm. it's them that has infiltrated primarily the trans community. Mm. The woke, psychopathic, sociopathic, fucking power grabbing assholes. Yeah, they have found their way into the trans community. Right. And by default, they've Trojan horsed their way into the broader LGBTQ movement. And now it's the wokest, it's the cult members. They are poisoning everything. They're poisoning comedy. They're poisoning... You can't even... You know what? You know what I just realized. When was the last time we saw a movie that was like just some great sex romp comedy, like American Pie, Austin Powers? Oh, it's been a while. Where the fuck are these anymore? It's been. I a while. feel like they can't. Are we ever going to get something like Tropic Thunder again? Probably nope. not. Nope. Unless we do it, bro. We have to do. Oh, uh, we might have to. Do, we might have to do a Love Lounge feature film. <laughs> we oh. <laughs> Yay. Hey, Let folks, us know if you want it. We'll shit. Fu- I don't give a shit, nigga. I'll do it. I'll do it before my hair we gets could, too long. We could crowdfund yeah. the project. Hell yeah. The Love Lounge movie. Yeah. Whatever. I'll do it. Now, oh, bro. That would be... How dope would that be? That'd be fucking great. <laughs> so, the point is, mm-hmm. the woke cult. Yep. We all know what they are. They're We've woke, been seeing son. it. They're woke, though. We've been seeing it the past few years. Wayne and I have talked about it on this podcast many times. Many, many times. We've encountered them at stand-up shows. We encounter them mm. online. Yeah. You all have. They are ruining everything. Yep. They are ruining the trans community. It's yeah, not trans for the legit people. One. It's not trans people ruining shit. It's it's the cult. The yeah. cult is poisoning everything they touch. Yeah. And I feel bad for the ones that are legit. I've said it before, Bro. man. Like, I, f- I do feel bad because it's the ones, the woke ones are crying wolf, you know, about every little fucking thing. And it takes away from the legitimacy of, you know, uh, an actual issue. And it's the same thing. Um, I've said it. I don't know if I've said it before, but with the black community as well. When, when I hate when niggas pull the black card, like, no, it's not because you're black. It's because you're an asshole, right? <laughs> That's why, nigga, don't pull it. Because there are actual people being racially profiled because they're black. But if people keep pulling right. the black card just because you're an asshole, well, it takes it away from the legitimacy of, of when it's actual racism. Thank and it's you. the same thing with this, the trans movement. Man, I just, I just wish that we could say, shut the fuck up. Well, we can. Like, we can. But I wish that it would actually happen, right? Because yeah. that's what that's what they're trying to do to people like us. Tell us to shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah, and they want it to happen as well. Well, guess what? I want the same thing. You're an this idiot. Is, this shut is up. what's so insane. Like everyone's allowed to disagree. We have no one. No one has to be on the same page all the time. Yeah. You can hate Dave Chappelle's comedy. That's fine. Many people do. I'm surprised it hasn't come to light to where they, you know, they haven't said anything about him being black yet. Can you imagine that? Well, I mean, black comedian, like, what does that have to do with it? I'm waiting for that. You want to hear some funny ass shit? Yes, I do. It's all funny. Yeah. That shit ass media company Vice, who I fucking hate. Oh, Vice. You know, remember Vice that used to be great, like yeah, twelve I, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they became. You know, just one of the outlets that is like it's it's the fucking poster boy of wokest cult. Oh, great! So what's what? Oh, what's funny? Oh, of course, their headline when this whole thing when, when the uh, trans employee was fired initially from Netflix, not for anything having to do with their personal life. Didn't they? They were fired for leaking internal privileged netflix documents uh-huh. in their privileged emails yeah ba- it was based on you know uh payments for artists and salaries it was privileged oh. information ah oh. she released confidential information yeah yeah 
That's to, an asshole to, move. To the media. It's an asshole move. She was fired. Well, she's a trans woman. But they made it about fired. They being or trans. or I I'm saying trans woman. I think I'm wrong though. Here's why. Oh. Because here's what Vice does. What Vice do? So these assholes. Asshole. They know for a fact. Mm-hmm. They know that this person was fired from that company because this person violated company policy by uh, releasing yep. confidential information. You can't yep. do that. No, you, you are breaking the that. fucking rules. Yes. Yeah. Instead, their headline on this article Netflix fires employee <laughs> who was black, trans, and pregnant. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is their headline. Wow, this is this is what they want to lure yeah. you in with with the clickbait. Yeah. With the yeah, and get people pissed off. Netflix fires trans employee who is also black and pregnant. You know, Vice, you can eat my ass with your bullshit. I cannot stand it anymore. I wonder if it was different, and they actually said what it was. Like Netflix fires asshole for being an asshole. See. It'd be different, wouldn't it? What? Because even with <sighs> even with the um, uh, the protest uh, or the walkout, uh, the organizer of it uh, stormed into a like a board meeting or something, and they yep. were fired because of that. And they tried to spin it like, "Oh, they got fired because they're you know they're into it." I'm like, fuck, man, I just it's like no. When you when you, when you work at a company and the board is having a board meeting, you stay your ass in out in a private room. Stay your ass and out. And you barge into it mm. like an asshole. Unprofessional. Yeah. Like. You, of course. I mean, what, what job want, would keep you on? Doing it for the sake of causing a scene? Well, guess what? Fuck out. Cash me outside. Cash me outside. How about <laughs> okay, that? Okay, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your severance package. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Catch the boxes we throw it out the window, too. You can go catch the bus. Oh, Oh, because we're taking away your company car. Uh, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. <laughs> so here's here's the thing, man. You know trans people. I yep. know of A1. So, and I've said it before, that we could potentially speak to one of these people. And I don't say one of these people like they're a different type of person, but, you know. Well, they're, they're you know this kind of drives a, another point home. Look how look look at the fucking eggshells people are walking on with their speech. It's just like oh I I, I, I don't, don't oh I uh, I don't <gasps> I don't want to offend. It's just like say what you're gonna say and then we can have a yeah conversation. You know it's just like I'm sorry. Look I I'm referring to you as she right now. But, sure. I mean, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but you know, you walked in with a with a big old ass and tits, and yeah. and, and oh, I'm gonna be honest, you're looking you're looking, looking pretty, pretty good. good. Come to find out, you were a guy. Now, damn it, uh, what, Got what do we again. do here? Got me again. Shall I change my sex to make you feel more comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet in the middle. Let's meet in the middle, and then not. Um, so our announcement is. That we're going to be putting together a show at the beginning of the year, 2022, almost 2025. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Um, fuck, man, 2022. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. All the time's gone by. Um, so, yeah, locally in the Illawarra, we we're putting a show together for the people, um, our people. In in and uh, our people's people, and it's gonna be dope. So it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, that meeting today, I I feel good about, um, because it's something that you know they they want to put on because they want to get people out to venues as well. So, and it hasn't been done. Well, it, they've they've had somebody there, but I don't think they've done anything like we're gonna do. No, I think I think this will be a very different show. You know, this yeah. is a this is a cooking and cream present. It's a mm. it's a multi act stand up show. We're gonna have a killer headliner. Yeah. Uh, the first half of the show will be three, potentially four, 
really great stand-ups each yeah. doing you know 10 maybe 10 minutes a pop if there's four of them if not us by the them. way we won't we're it's not us those. we no, we will we are hosting it taking the night off we are hosting the show we are presenting and and highlighting great talent the show's not really the, really the show's not about us it's just not Mm-mm. but but we are organizing it because we love stand up we love laughing we love comedy and it's about it is about us it's about us getting paid <laughs> <laughs> Paid for shizzle p- p- Paid <laughs> I, put, I, put, I, put, I, put, I put it in my account <laughs> We gotta do more callbacks to Porky Oh good old Porky Get a little p- 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 Porky pig How we sitting bro uh, We're only an hour and four minutes What I'm d- Yeah Sweating my ass off in here. I know it's a bit stuffy in the garage, man. The weather has changed. It's uh, there's so much it's hair, very warm hair products in the air right now. Yours and mine. I feel like combining. I feel like the gel in my slick back hair is starting to evaporate into the air. If I did and that, is actually sticking onto your face, which is why you're glistening at the moment. If I did that to my hair, my but, fingers would get stuck. <laughs> Doing the rest of the show like this. <laughs> you know why? Yeah. See, this is the thing. This is the only thing right now I can do with my hair. I haven't gotten a haircut forever because I couldn't. Everything was fucking closed. You didn't do a home cut? No, I didn't. I just, you know, I, just, I don't care. It's like, you know, mm. whatever. So it's a bit long right now. But uh, going over to the in laws in a couple of days, and actually, my Sweet. mother in law is going to cut my hair. Oh, yeah? She does a great job. Okay, cool. That's all right. So that'd be legit. That's good, man. I like it. I like it a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My friend, my friend, my friend. Which, what are we going to do now? Well, you know what we haven't done? Hmm? You know what we haven't done in a while, folks? Something we haven't done long enough to where uh, I think maybe some people have forgotten. Oh. We used to do a thing. We used to? Called the Ask Reddit All-Stars. Oh, shit. What up, Reddit? And I think we're going to break into an Ask Reddit All-Stars. Here we go. Right now. Mm-hmm. Are you ready, my friend? Uh, yeah, dude. I'm excited for this. So this question was posted four days ago mm-hmm. by Alex BBTKD. Okay. The question is, what's a crazy statistic? Right. Ooh. Right. This could get juicy. That's very interesting. Ramalad responded. <laughs> I forgot wh- how how funny the names can be. <laughs> Some of them are ridiculous. <laughs> One in three Australians mm-hmm. will be diagnosed with a skin cancer by the time they're 70. Well, well that's, that's, that's high. Crazy. Well... That's Check hot. this out. There's an edit here. Uh-huh. Edit. I misrepresented the statistic. Mm-hmm. It's actually two in three. What? So the majority... That is the current... Amen. The majority of Australians... Slip, slop, slap. Where it's you real. and I live... It's real. Dude, the sun is... F- no joke here. Does not give a fuck. Mm-mm. The sun will cash you outside. It will cash you outside. <laughs> the sun is gangster as fuck in Australia. And it will burn you internally and give you cancer. Uh, Jack of 47 Trades responded, There is more actual lemon in Lemon Pledge Multi Cleaner yeah. than there is in Country Time Lemonade. Now, you remember drinking that as a kid? I remember country time. Uh, and- for folks listening who are not American, which I know is a lot of you, country time lemonade was like the shit. It was the one of the biggest lemonades, if not the biggest. It was like traditional lemonade. Like not, not, not the Australian like sparkling lemonade. No, yeah. lemonade. Yeah. And apparently this, this fucking multi-cleaner that you clean the house with has more actual lemon in it than the drink that's crazy man (laughs) 
That is a crazy stat. All right, now this one, this one won't really shock people, but when you do hear the numbers, it is uh, it's alarming. Okay. Uh, Watar forty two has responded. Mm-hmm. The top ten percent of drinkers account for sixty percent of all alcohol consumed in the United States. And they drink the equivalent of 74 drinks per week. So the entire alcoholic beverages industry is kept alive by severe alcoholics. Yep. You're welcome. (laughs) Yeah, right. Hey, cheers. Cheers. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Now, look, the alcohol industry thriving on alcoholism. Of, that doesn't really... It's the same with it, cigarettes. It's not shocking. Addiction is addiction, which yeah. is amazing. I mean, you know, we, on another episode, we can get into it. It's just so fucking incredible that, like, in this country... Mm-hmm. I mean, how how are you not legalizing pot? What is wrong with people? They did in um, ACT. Medical. Yes. Medical certificate. If you have... Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean... My back fucking, hurts. The amount of alcohol and tobacco that gets sold per year. The amount of people killed from it. Cha-ching, bro. I saw an initiative they want to cut out cigarettes. Did you see that? Hell yeah, they do. That's why they're so expensive here. No, 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 no. They want to, like, have no more cigarettes. Oh, just ban it. Just fucking ban it. Make it illegal. Kind of like a prohibition. All right, fine. But on tobacco. Bring on the marijuana. That's when all the zombies are going to come out. (laughs) What, What would people do on their smoke breaks then? Have a normal break. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're allowed those to be little, drunk like, at work now. Yeah, those pocket shots <laughs> that you get. Yeah. Dude, I, you know where I work, and it smells like alcohol. No, Absolutely. No one would know the difference. <laughs> That's if, right. If I was shit-faced. <laughs> <laughs> Time Lizard responded. <laughs> According to the FBI, there are currently more than 25 active serial killers in the United States. Now, that's a relatively low number. Well, don't you think? Let's so let's consider that. There's 380 or so million people, yeah, in the United States. So 25 Dude. out of that yeah, it's That's obviously a very small. However, active, active serial yeah. killer. First yeah. of all, to be coined a serial killer, you have to kill three or more. That's when you get coined serial killer. Oh, right. You, you got your badge of authenticity to be yeah. a serial killer. So that's, that's, that's um, one for every two states. Yeah, bro. Hmm. So... Uh, and someone commented under this, which which is way less than the rate in the seventies. Apparently, oh. the seventies a serial killer was blown up, running rampant, bro. Yeah, Bundy, seventies. <sighs> yeah, 80s? Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, maybe Dahmer? Jeffrey Dahmer was eighties. But I th- Bundy was maybe he started in the seventies. Yeah, well, no, bro. He oh, the son of Sam. You know about that? No, I've heard it. Okay, so Spike Lee, for anyone who, who, any all you film buffs out there, Spike Lee did an incredible movie way back in, I want to say, I don't know, very early 2000s. Could have even been late 90s, I have no idea. It was called Summer of Sam. Okay. What it's about, it's a true story. There was a serial killer in the New York area mm-hmm. in the 70s who called himself the Son of Sam. Sam was his dog. He took right. orders from his dog. The dog talked to him. Come on, man. Bro, the son of Sam was not fucking around. Dude. The son of Sam targeted couples. Right. Uh, like couples making out in their car. He would walk right up and shoot them with a revolver in the fucking head. Damn. Just murder them right there in the car. What? He also targeted brunette women. Specifically, so there were all these women who started changing their hair color to blonde in the seventies in New York. 
It was insane. Yeah, Dude, that's that's nuts, man. Son of Sam is an incredible film. The story, the true story though of the Son of Sam is is what wild. kind of dog was it? I think it was a black lab. Fuck. <laughs> Look at you. You could have just at, said lab. You could have just said racing. Labrador. It's like, ugh. why did you have to say this goddamn black lab that was giving out all these kill orders to brunettes? Why couldn't it have been a yellow lab? With why like couldn't a, it just been a Labrador? And people would be just like, hmm. Ye- yellow lab with an Asian accent. Now, now, let me get this white. It was a black lab. Black. <laughs> What if it was a Dalmatian? I want you to uh, target a couple in in their uh, Volkswagen bug if they they kiss. I I wonder if there was, you know how the dog whisperer is apparently a thing? Like, Mm -hmm. I wonder, like, if he would would be able to interview this this black lab. (laughs) So what's your motivation? Hmm? You feeling a bit oppressed? Huh? (laughs) <laughs> well, I'll just take a look around I see all these whites And mm. I just get angry mm. My mom was a Rottweiler I just want to bite them <laughs> <laughs> But if I bite them They put me down mm. So I Tell my master mm-hmm. Oh Which is actually kind of racist It is Fuck See God damn it God damn it. What <laughs> God damn it <laughs> Uh, and do you know what he said to him after he committed these atrocities, these murders? What Good boy. That. Yep. <laughs> what you mean, boy? We, who are you looking at, boy? <laughs> do you just, do you just eyeball my wife? Eyeballing me, boy? You just eyeball my woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Latvia responded. Oh. Again, the question is, what's a just crazy, insane? The country of Latvia? Uh, Yeah, sure, why not? All All of Latvia. All of Latvia, says. (laughs) (laughs) To crowd comment. The four of them. From 1970 to 2000-ish, U.S. median household income and home prices were on an almost perfect straight line. Mm. Using the... Regression line, Y equals AX plus B. So we're talking about a graph. Yeah. The predicted median income in 2021, the predicted income would be 75000 annual. Uh-huh. And the median home price would be 194000 Wow. All right. Yeah. Actual median income is 67,000 mm-hmm. and median home price 330,000. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> now pricey. here's what's insane about that. Mm-hmm. Think about that price for 330k. Yep. Now in the US and in some parts of here in Australia, you got to really go to the middle of nowhere. Even 330,000? Yep. I would find it pretty hard to get a house for that. Yeah, you would. Because cause it's just such an insane inflated bubble. Yeah, thanks, China. Uh, That's what's right happened, now. dude. All, all the all the um, imports, you know, from whatever country they're from, come over here and, and buy properties. And that's what drives the market up because they have the money to do that. And, dude, there's, there's actually... And they'll sell it to them. Because they don't give a fuck. There's a supply chain crisis going on. Uh, for right what? Now, for everything. Mm. This Toilet is why paper? price... Dude, in the States, I just read... No joke. Mm. There's there's a couple places in California where where gas per gallon... Petrol per gallon in some parts... Uh-huh. I'm not... Okay, this is gonna... I'm not even kidding. Up to $7 a gallon. Oh my goodness. That is unforgivable. What? Who the fucks that, can okay, pay that? That means that there are there's potentially people who, and I'm sure this has happened, they had to choose. Do I spend mm-hmm. half of my paycheck yeah. on this gas tank right now? Yep. 
Or do I maybe for the next week or so take public transport, mm. use what I would have paid for that ungodly gas price? That is crazy. To go shopping to feed my fucking kids. That is crazy, man. How? Why and is there you can, you can, you can, bro. This inflation going on right now in the states, especially, mm. you know. Sure, you can place blame in a lot of places. I'm telling you right now, bro, the current administration ain't fucking helping. Just point the finger at your nearest black Labrador. (laughs) Why not? You never know. Bro, just to put it in perspective, Mm -hmm. a shipping container. Mm -hmm. Typically, back in the day, maybe about, as of only maybe five, six years ago, dude. Yeah. To ship, I, I think I'm getting this right. That I, I was reading this. To get a shipping container, uh-huh. to then fill it, to like ship across the ocean, uh-huh. maybe about fifteen hundred bucks to make to, okay. to get it. To, it's like all right, that's okay. my container. I've heard 1500 about I've heard bucks. around fifteen hundred to two grand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So that was about average for a while. Mm-hmm. Due to everything going on. Just for the shipping container. Yep. It's averaging at seven grand. Dude. It goes up as high as ten and a half. Just for the grand container. Just to get the fucking thing. This is how cra- this is how insane all this is getting. Is it because there's limited movements and they're just cashing in on it? I couldn't tell you, bro. I really don't know. All I'm reading is massive inflated numbers. Are the containers bigger? <laughs> Like, Look, like for real, all I know real? is I need my goddamn shipping container because I got a lot of people I got to get over here. <laughs> all right, I got tasks that need to be done. They have to be completed ASAP. I got dicks that need to be sucked, you know? I mean, I mean they're not going to suck themselves. They would if they could, but they can't. <laughs> and and what not Alex yet. was telling us on our Darkland episode, oh, it's a huge business, man, that he had investigated, man, the people trafficking. That's crazy, bro. Christ Almighty. That's fucked up. Oh, so look at this statistic. What is it? Copperton responded yep. with this one. Oh, this is this is kind of rough. Okay. But at the same time, hmm. It's what we do. Forty percent okay. of the homeless. Yep. Forty percent of the homeless mm-hmm. are employed. Okay, I believe that. I can believe it. Yeah. That right there, my friend, uh-huh. that plays kind of right in mm. to what we're talking about. Think about it this way. Mm. The average wage really hasn't gone up much. What has gone up? Everything, Everything else. else surrounding yeah. you. Yeah. Yep. You're making shit-ass money. It's fucking California, $7. A gallon for gas. These it's pe- crazy, these, these politicians that have been voted in that support shit like this all need to be fired. Can they should get be. out of here? It's disgusting. They need bro. a bit of uh, what is it? Rinny, what's mm-hmm. his name? They need a bit of Rinny remedy. Yo, what Rennie. motherfuckers need Rennie. If you're listening, bro, I can't remember they your need. last name, bro. But Rennie, you know who you are. I pushed you around on that soccer field, bro. Oh, it Let's just hit real. me. Daily yeah. Elementary. Wasn't even middle school. Oh. Rennie, yo, Daily Elementary School, man. I did that to you on the soccer field, bro. If you ever get around to this podcast, you know, I'm sorry, man, but you taught me a valuable lesson, man, because I remember you hit me. <laughs> you, fucking, uh, you, you showed me who was boss. There you go. <laughs> Is this one a good one? Uh I was just laughing. I was just <laughs> uh, reminiscing about getting knocked the fuck mu- out. Mutant, mutant. Yeah, that, I was. I was. I was just laughing. I was. I was laughing at the fact that I. I really did wake up. It was like a movie. I woke up looking at the clouds. Oh Jesus! Man. With fucking, <laughs> I got Slumdog Thousand Air standing over me <laughs> in his BCGs. <laughs> 
40 uh, so mutant enzyme responded 44 percent of older millennials already have a chronic health condition is that us does that include us it does, unfortunately. See, I don't. I I play the uh, identify game, just like some of the. Oh yep. Some of the um, dimmers. The, the 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 woke cult likes to play. They like to use word games and make yeah. up words. I do. Yeah. I don't identify as a millennial. What do you identify as? Just a dude. Okay. Well, fair I enough. Can, right? I can accept that. Fair enough. We I do not that. identify as a millennial because our generation millennials are really, truly fucking annoying. Yeah. I wish I had a chronic problem. That way my knees wouldn't hurt so much because I'd be high all the time. All right. Just that that went chronic right over your slick head. (laughs) Well, (laughs) it landed and then it fell off. Well, that's why the joke, the joke landed, landed on this petrified, (laughs) this, this icy surface. And the joke joke just slipped, it just, fell just, on its ass. Damn it. Slid just right like off Rennie. the back of my dome. Just like just like Rennie when he pushed him. That's right. Mm. Slid right off the back of my dome and went, I will get you. <laughs> I'll be back. I will be back. <laughs> you will see. Oh, you have been a very bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Redshift one responded. <laughs> More energy from the sun hits Earth every hour than the planet uses in a year. Ooh. Oh, so solar energy. See, that's the thing. It, it's amazing <clears throat> how solar is not much bigger than it is than it is currently. You could run everything off the motherfucker. Because it's expensive, man. But it pays for itself, though. Isn't... Well, I don't know. I don't even want to People are it. making too much money off of uh, treating skin cancer. Because apparently two out of three Australians get it. Oh, that explains it. You know? The sun's a powerful bitch. Shit, it has to be a bitch because it'll burn you. <laughs> we'll do a couple more. Uh, uh, just fuck with you, responded. Mm-hmm. If you were to compress Earth's existence into a 24-hour day, life would first appear at 4 a.m. Plants would first appear at 10 p.m. Dinosaurs from about 11 p.m. to 11.40 p.m. And humans emerge at 11.59 p.m. Can I just say that's a stupid stat? And I don't care. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, who the fuck? Who cares? But it kind of signifies, you know, it reiterates the fact that, <sighs> come on, life's short. And the entire existence of humans in the grand scheme of things is a blink of an eye, bro. Well, we're, it's, we're nothing but fucking space dust. That's floating right, floating around, man. I'm a star. We're all we all have stardust in us, bro. That's right. I'm a fucking star. Mm. I don't need to hear stupid stats like that. Fuck. Zealous ideal mm-hmm. responded. You are five times more likely to get struck by lightning than to be seven feet tall. Mm. Wow. Never thought of it that way. That's funny because, like, you'd think the taller people would be more susceptible to getting struck by lightning. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, you unlucky you, bastard. You, you're you're kind of closer to the sky uh, rather than the short people, bro. You remember back? So, in, remember when, when we were watching like NBA back in the nineties? I'm talking yeah. like Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. Yeah. Remember George Mirasan? The seven foot he white like was, fucking Austrian guy yes. or Slovakian guy, just weird looking. Weird. He looked like a, he looked like a, a Slenderman. He looked like a Slenderman. He did. He looked. <laughs> remember, <laughs> the remember the one. the character in the Munsters, the Frankenstein looking. Oh, like, yes. Yeah. He did look like him. Or he looked he, but he actually, was like, he looked he was like super skinny. Bro, he looked like Lurch from the Adams family. Yeah, that's who. Yeah. That he got he had that square jaw. He was just pale as a corpse. Cut and paste, you know, generic man. <laughs> <laughs> he just was Yeah. But but yeah. Bro, imagine who, um, like George Mirasan walking around and he's holding this big ass like golf umbrella. Hmm. Above his head, yeah. During a <laughs> and then you all these starts. short people like, well, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, everyone, listen. I'm good. We're going to need you to back away from George. He's, he's yeah. a conductor at the moment. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we'll do one more. Okay. Uh, Minnow99 responded, Sharks. Oh, this is insane. Mm. Sharks predate trees by a hundred million years. Wow. Holy shit. What? Think about that. Kind of makes sense, though. Because in the evolutionary chart, life emerged oh, from, from the, water, from, from the, the oceans. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So there were creatures in these massive mm. oceans before these buds and shrubs and trees and, and shit were emerging okay. on the land. Okay. That's actually kind of mind blowing. That's that's a long time. Holy shit! And there's an addition to this. Mm. Sharks also predate Saturn's rings. How the fuck do they know that, man? Be- well, they know how old they know how old Saturn's rings are. How? No, notice, <laughs> notice how I did not answer your question. Yeah, you at just, all. You, yeah. Well, they because they know, know, bruh. Because they know how old they are. Oh, okay, that explains it. I read it in a textbook. <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> that's ins- That's fucking. That's insane, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Those were all good, except for I got that another stat. One. What? Ready for it? Ready. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep. The Love Lounge, yeah, our little side baby, mm-hmm. surpassed seven thousand downloads just yesterday. So yes, thank sir. you very much. Thank There's you, a everybody. Motherfucking stat. That's a stat for your ass right there. Cheers, bro. If the Love Lounge was compressed into a twenty-four hour period, pff, like who the fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> fuck out of here with that. Anyway, it's been it's been so fun, man, and. Dude, holy shit. It's so amazing to be chilling face to face again in my garage at a table with the microphones, chilling yeah. out, the camera in front of us. How We're it back all started. on YouTube. We're hanging out. How it all started. Yep. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. We're back on YouTube. Get subscribed on YouTube if you haven't already. Yeah. The second we hit 50 subscribers, I think we're just nearly at 40 now. The second oh. we hit 50 subscribers. I want you to look. If you're watching right now, you see that skate deck right over Wayne's right shoulder? Yep. We are giving that skate deck away for free to a lucky fan the Mm. second we hit 50 subscribers. So get on it. Get Get on on YouTube. Hit subscribe. That's right. Now, we are going to be working on some comedy sketches. We got a lot of ideas. Mm Mm-hmm. This big show we're going to be doing in in uh, January, we're definitely going to film this motherfucker. Hell yeah. There's going to be a lot of video content coming out related to this podcast, so all you loyal listeners who we appreciate and who we love, please get to YouTube. Please hit subscribe. Please like all the videos. Mm-hmm. Give this thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Do us this favor. Mm. Really put us into the algorithm, man. Yeah. Please do it. Put us in there. If you like to just simply listen to us while you're like on your way to work, whether it's Spotify, Apple, that's great. Yeah. If you if you like what you're hearing, give us five stars, man. Rate the podcast. Go on it Apple. Is. Click five stars. Just do it. You uh um, get us up in the charts. Yeah. If you're listening to us on the way to work, have a good day. Yeah, please have a good day at if work. If you're Hang listening to us on the way from work, <laughs> I hope you had a good day. Absolutely, man. And if you didn't, that's all right. There's tomorrow. Wayne and I are working men. We're average Joes, man. If you're listening mm. to this right now or watching this, you're 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 watching two motherfuckers who I pr- I promise you, we can relate. Yeah, we work jobs. This ain't our job yet. Yet we're getting there. Motherfuck, man. If this was the nine to five, shit, shit. You want that? You want that smooth fire movie? <laughs> right. That's the agent. Hit me up right now. <laughs> For real though. All right, Let's folks, like you heard in the beginning of the podcast, patreon.com slash pod. You can financially support the show for as little as $2 a month. We mm-hmm. would really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Other than that, 
this was a great little uh, come out of lockdown thing. So, bro, so good to see you. Yeah, sitting next to me actually in the yeah. garage. Cheers, right. brother. Uh, you still haven't showed me your certificate yet. So, and you know what? Hmm. I am not going to. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good. I like it. Oh, uh, we've got our um, uh, next gig coming up on the 11th of November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the so Icon. If you're in the Illawarra. Yeah. 11th of November, the Icon Wollongong, the Icon Bar and Grill. It's a yeah. great place. It's cool. Fantastic shows there. Nice and homey. Uh, Diana McLaren and uh, Malika, yep. whose last name I actually don't know. I've never asked. Elizabeth, I think? Uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm, fuck me. My bad, Malika. Well, good thing they don't listen to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good thing they hate our guts. Yep. Ah! Yeah. Uh, they do a fantastic <laughs> job. Um, they roll under the, uh, under the banner, uh, Cocoa and Butter Productions. Yeah, Cocoa and Butter. They do a fantastic job. They pack out the icon, um, every time, man. It's always a sick show. It's a great, uh, it's an open mic, but it's really, it's also kind of a show. It's a show. It's a show. That's right. It's fantastic. So we really appreciate those two ladies and, uh, all they do for this, for this space, this whole, this whole. For the Illawarra. This whole thing, man. So, Yeah. That'll be awesome. So if you're in the Illawarra, 11th of November, look it up. Icon. We'll yeah. On. We'll be there. We will be there. Hope All right, folks. We love you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Mm-hmm. We will catch you next week. And uh, Smooth Fire FM presents the Love Lounge. Episode 9 will be oh, out uh, probably you know, in the next uh, few days. Be uh, Friday. Friday. Yeah. That's right. Coming up. So mm-hmm. thanks again, folks. Really appreciate your support. Peace out, niggas. Peace.